This is a beautiful new neighborhood restaurant in Medfield, Massachusetts, named Avenue. And this is the chef owner, Josh Foley. You can't let your fire get too mellow can't get too hot. Josh and his family live so close to the restaurant, he actually walks to and from work every day. And he can smell the enticing aromas coming from the wood fire burning in the kitchen all the way at his house. But this is definitely a step above your typical home cooking. I like to think of it as rustic New England comfort food, focusing really on our wood fired cooking. I like to buy quality and do as little as possible to it. I wanted to offer food that I love and that I have learned to make from talented people over the years, but also a menu that is creative but accessible so we would be busy seven nights a week instead of just on the weekends. And the crowds have been coming since the day Avenue opened for crispy flatbread pizzas, big BLT salads, fall off the bone confit chicken wings, potato crusted pork Judith calamari, pan roasted mussels with chardonnay and garlic butter, wood grilled swordfish, and cabernet braised short ribs. But the hottest attraction might be the kitchen itself. In the kitchen, we have a wood oven. It's a combination gas and wood. We do all the flatbreads in there. And then next to the salad station is the wood grill, which is kind of the centerpiece of the kitchen. It was custom made in Northern California. It's an Argentinian design. They've been making these brasses, they call it, for hundreds of years. And it's a very simple construction. The wood lays down on the bottom, but you spin a wheel and the wood just kind of raises up. If you need to get hotter and faster. During the day, it's down low, slow roasting the chickens. But during dinner service, doing swordfish and steaks, burgers, things like that, we need it hot and fast and it's a versatile piece of equipment. Josh learned how to cook over live fire during his time working at some legendary restaurants in San Francisco, including Boulevard and Zuni Cafe. And his wood roasted chicken has a direct lineage back to the West Coast. And his signature burger was inspired by his days working the grill station at Harvest Restaurant in Harvard Square, Cambridge, where culinary legend Julia Child was a frequent customer. It's off the wood grill, so that's different. And it's a certified Angus beef product, so it's delicious already. We cook it to temp. It's on a house-made brioche bun. We serve it with comeback sauce, which is a secret recipe. And then we make our fries in-house too, which was important to me. If our burger is good enough for Julia Child, what better testimonial is there than that? The wood grill also imparts an extra layer of flavor to the steak frites, featuring a corn-fed prime skirt steak that's brushed with compound butter, served with hand-cut fries, and plated over Argentinian-style chimichurri sauce. From the outside, Avenue looks like something straight out of a Norman Rockwell painting. Inside, it's a combination of rustic and modern, with lots of windows, wood, and slate. Between the bar and dining room, there are over 100 seats, and most of them are filled with customers who come for the flatbreads. They are rectangular. We make the dough in-house, and it's a double zero flour from Italy. There's a two-day rise, so it's in the walk-in for two days before we even touch it. It's then cooked hot and fast in the combo wood gas oven. They are crispy. And impossible to to resist. There's the sweet and spicy Avenue flatbread topped with house-made pork sausage, wild mushrooms, and onion jam, and the ultra-popular caramelized onion and cherry wood smoked bacon flatbread. That is on the flatbread with a roasted garlic creme fraiche and fresh mozzarella that goes two minutes in the oven. We toss arugula with red wine vinaigrette and just top the hot flatbread with that. The roasted garlic kind of hits you in the face, but then so does the smoky bacon and the peppery arugula. It's a great combination. But believe it or not, the bolognese might be even better. First of all, it's a big portion. We sell 100 orders a week, and when you bite into it, it's like Sunday dinner at your Italian grandmother's house. It's loosely based on a recipe that's over 200 years old, so I wanted to do something kind of old school. But we source certified humane veal and an all-natural ground pork, and we use really good pancetta. I think buying what we buy and applying it to the old world recipe really makes it special. And of course, you should finish off your meal with a butterscotch blondie sundae with sea salt caramel ice cream, because you really need to explore all avenues from this talented team. What you've got is some restaurant people with a lot of experience from cities like Boston and San Francisco that are in the suburbs. We're in the middle of Medfield Center, right next to Town Hall, and beautiful windows looking out onto the town green right there. We like to think it's a city experience in the suburbs. My favorite thing is that we're in a community that we're invested in. My wife and I have four children, and and I think we've built something here that's built to last.